Today's species is neither endangered nor particularly attractive, but we are going to try to make this a weekly feature instead of a monthly one, so we'll have to include some less exciting entries every now and then. However, we will strive to have something interesting to say about each species featured. And so today I'd like to present the goose barnacle. Yes, barnacles, those shells that stick to boats and driftwood. Like you, I'd never given them much thought. But then I received this fascinating video from a good friend of mine, Eva Estes, and I had to ask myself, what is that? After a bit of research, I found out it's called a goose barnacle. I'm not exactly sure what species it is. There are a couple in the Lepus genus which look very similar, but I'm leaning towards Lepus anserifera. It's definitely some sort of Lepus. In any case, the reason I find them worth talking about, aside from sharing the video, is their cultural history. In medieval Europe, before they knew about such things as animal migrations, it was widely believed that certain geese, which were never seen laying eggs, grew out of these barnacles. In fact, the Catholic Church considered these geese a fish, and so the faithful were allowed to eat them on Fridays. In our more enlightened times, barnacles are notorious in the animal kingdom for another reason. Being anchored in place your whole life presents an interesting challenge to sexual reproduction, and barnacles, there are over a thousand different species, have developed some curious strategies to overcome this limitation. And male genitalia can measure up to eight times their body length, making them the most well-endowed animals on the planet.